Most people are looking forward to the firework shows this 4th of July weekend. But those loud noises can scare many pets, leading them to run away. Fox 44's Earl Stoudemire joins us in the studio to share what animal shelters recommend to keep your pets safe. Earl. Yes, Adam, everyone I've spoken with today says this holiday weekend is the most frequent time of the year for dogs to run loose. They provide advice ranging from playing with your dogs until they get tired to even letting them stay inside to find comfort. Popping and crackling fireworks are getting ready to fill up the night sky, but an enjoyment for family and friends is a sensory overload for our furry friends. Dogs do get scared. People put them outside, fireworks go off and they run. They can scale fences quickly, um, they can get injured. So, you know, not only can your animal end up here at the shelter, they can end up injured. To ease anxiety and minimize injuries, Candy Hillier with the Central Texas Humane Society recommends making a comfortable space for your dog. You know, if your animal isn't microchipped this weekend, you can go run out to one of the pet supply stores and get a metal tag made for their collar with their name and your name and your phone number. Um, very important. That way, if the animal's found, it can make its way home quickly. If they do run away, Hillier says getting your pet microchipped and tagged is a big help in finding them. You know, if your animal isn't microchipped this weekend, you can go run out to one of the pet supply stores and get a metal tag made for their collar with their name and your name and your phone number. Um, very important. That way, if the animal's found, it can make its way home quickly. <laughs> To ensure owners reconnect with their pets, Cribs for Canines will have volunteer scanners at Hewitt, Waco, and Bellmead Police Departments. So we're kind of stepping in front of them having to go to the shelter to reunite them back to their families immediately. Hewitt Police Department has their own scanners on patrol, but Police Chief Devlin says it makes the search and rescue process easier. We don't always know when the public finds an animal. They don't always call us. Uh, so, you know, this is just another alternative, another area for them, an area for them to go to scan the animal for microchips so we can get it back to where it's, it's supposed to live. Cribs for Canines anticipate scanning at least 200 pets on the 4th of July. They say pets who aren't claimed will be placed in the animal foster care system. Live in studio, Earl Stoudemire, Fox 44 News.